this point, it is nothing more than an idea for a potentially useful tool for managing and visualizing and analyzing geodesy data and also perhaps performing certain computational ge geodetic tasks. It consists of two components, and this is, this is coming from, this is my idea, this is uh, two components, something to organize the data, store the data, uh, it's all geo, geodesy data is all georeference data, so it's ideally suited to something like a geodatabase with, with geospatial referencing. Um, uh, model that data, uh, incorporate their relationships, uh, and, and make use of the power and the abilities of tools like GIS that can do so well with data management, visualization, and other things. And, and of course, another component that does all the analysis, various models and tools, as NGS likes to call them, uh, to be able to take that data and work with it and create, I, I, don't, I say not only create the, um, not only ingest the information that somebody like NGS would produce outside, but actually be able to also use GIS to actually do some of that work. Uh, so it's well suited to that. However, I want to make this, uh, this next point very, very strong. If something like this is not developed collaboratively with the geodetic community, the global geodetic community, it cannot succeed. We have no intention of just running off and creating a data model and a bunch of models and tools all by ourselves and say, here, use it, it's gonna help you. No, it has to be developed with the contribution of the complete community. And that's probably going to mean it's a slow process, but nonetheless, something will come out that will be useful uh, to the, 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 geodesy, the geodesy community. So that's a very, very important point. That's part of the reason why you're here. We've organized this uh, uh, panel discussion. And, and you being part of the geodetic community at whatever le level, uh, we want to have input uh, from you. So what I envision for Arc Geodesy is something that Juliana said yesterday in, the, uh, in her keynote discussion, a successful integration of Geodesy and GIS. So why, why Arc Geodesy? Geodesists have tools. You know, they, 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 they've been doing these things for years. They already have things that they can, uh, they can use uh, to, to do what they want to do. Uh, We've heard a lot over the various UCs and summits, and even Bill Henning said it in the last session, that GIS can benefit from geodesy. And that is so true, that is very, very, very true. But you know, you geodesists have done so much for us that we feel we need to give back to the community. Because we, th we think that uh, GIS can also help geodesy. Uh, I believe that uh, uh, the, the GS adv has advanced to the level where geodesists can use it for some of their uh, processes. So as I'm saying here, help support geodesy uh, with GIS. One, one thing that Brent said um, yesterday was we go from one of his slides, he, he talked about an, an interesting progression. We go from data to information to knowledge. And that's an important concept to keep in mind because scientific geodesy, like other sciences, do something very similar. We go from theory, something we think, to experimentation, to a law or a model. Well, that experimentation part is the data part. We collect a lot of data and we mess with it. We do stuff. We don't sometimes know what we're doing, but we do stuff. We put to get data together and we, we think something might work and we experiment and we come up with what, this is, this is where I think the great power of, of something like GIS is to bring these data sets together, is facilitate data assimilation and perhaps come up with some new models and new science and discover things. And, make, and, and the other part is to um, improve the workflows and perhaps make a particular process a lot more streamlined uh, because data in many cases runs in and out of various different kinds of programs, lots of data transfer and, and lots of data uh, uh, analysis and then back over here and back over there. So there, there, there can be some QC tools, visualization tools, management tools uh, to, to allow this process to work much more smoothly. Obviously we can also streamline the data transfer of the products that Geodesy produces to the consumers who use those products, the surveyors and now the broader earth science community. 
so we can, you know, Brent also mentioned about slicing and dicing of data, but, but what, and we certainly can do that, but the big power is assimilating data and, and making some studies and helping to pro progress uh, geodetic science. So it's not just the, the uh, matter of serving a sort of a mapping or surveying community, but I'm saying that the GIS can also be used to serve the science community, the geodesy community, makes better models uh, for us to use and, and, and expands to the whole earth science community. So if built correctly and if built collaboratively, I think we can have a mutual relationship and a mutual uh, benefit of our geodesy to uh, the broader community, not just the survey community, but the broader scientific community. So that's, that's just a very broad and general idea of what I think our geodesy can be. And so now I've asked a, a, a panel of, of well-known individuals to think about this and say something about it, and, I'm ho and well, I'll invite them up now, and I'll, I'll hope that uh, they can make their statements, and we might still have some time for some uh, input from you out there. Can you hear me? All right, well, I'm Juliana Blackwell, Director of National Data Survey, and when I was asked to be on the panel and was given the information, I basically told Kevin that I really wasn't familiar with what was what was being envisioned here. And as we've talked over the last few days, I think we're on, I think I understand what is being proposed by ESRI for our geodesy. And the comments that I'd like to share with you are just um, probably nothing uh, other than what you would be thinking and the fact that anything that can help advance the importance of the understanding and share the knowledge of the importance of geodesy is a very good thing. And so uh, supporting the appreciation for what uh, GIS can do for geodesy and what geodesy can do for GIS is most definitely uh, a vision of what we'd like to see happen. Um, from the role of being in the federal government, I'd also just like to point out that uh, the National Geodetic Survey produces and provides information that's available to all and available free of charge, is open to the public, and is available for individuals to use uh, to add value to to create um, improvements upon them visually and to be able to get that information out. And that, that is certainly true for or having someone such as uh, ESRI do an art geodesy product as well as other individuals. And I'm most happy to hear about the, the use of uh, geodetically vetted uh, models and tools and data that would be incorporated into, into uh, a value-added product. And we certainly hope that uh, in addition to the federal uh, information that we have available that, as you mentioned, information from our spatial, from spatial reference centers, from scientific consortia, from other areas that uh, all that information has been scientifically vetted would be uh, considered for the development of our geodesy. Um, so as you grow in, in, in mapping out what this product looks like, um, I certainly hope that we can continue to, to help in, in uh, ways of being able to be a, a geodetic consultant and be able to have our data available um, just like it always is and, and see how we can continue to, to reach out to broader communities and see the importance of, of, of what GIS is. But I would also like to um, have folks consider um, the implications of having accurate geodetic models applied to less accurate um, information and the concerns of of what that means to when there's a final product. And you, you see this in very specific examples if you have a roundabout number of accuracy and then you add something to a lot of significant digits and then people add those things together and think that what they have available is, you know, nailed to the millimeter level when really it's not. And so keeping those things in mind of how people are going to use uh, scientific information to make sure that what you have is well defined and, and transparent to individuals so that they can see what, what it is and what it is not. 